Let's go back to December 2021 when you walked in this team meeting room mm -hmm. with your first meeting as the head coach of Washington. Yep. What was going through your mind when you walked through the door? Well, it happened so fast. I mean, you're you know, coaching at Fresno State on Thanksgiving Day against San Jose, <laughs> and you know, things really happen uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you know, by Monday morning you're getting offered a job and <laughs> talking to your team, and that's an emotional piece on that end because I love that place. It, yeah. uh, it was awesome, but uh, knew just this is too good of an opportunity. Um, it was so fired up and uh, came up here and met with the team on that, uh, I think it was a Monday night, and uh, just – it was pretty easy to get a feel of how important being really good was to them mm -hmm. and that there was a lot of really high character um, guys who cared a lot about each other um, as well as this program. And so I could even feel that in the room, you know, I had yeah. their attention and you always do when it's your first day, right? Uh, coming in as a yeah. head coach, but pulled them off into little uh, kind of side pocket groups, um, you know, what we would probably now call our unity council, but a lot of the mm -hmm. leadership guys in leadership roles um, met with them and got a really good idea of what um, what it was that they were missing. And it wasn't, you know, it, it was just a few things. And I think we brought that to the table as a coaching staff. And, um, you know, that led to a great season yeah. last year. What made you believe there, there were a lot of jobs open at that time mm -hmm. in, on the West Coast? Uh, you had had success at, at a bunch of other stops. What made you believe that this was the right job to take and the right time to take it? There was just enough, um, you know, uh, people that I knew that had either been here and coached here, yeah. um, just enough contacts that uh, I understood kind of this place. Uh, I coached here in 2017 mm -hmm. and saw what the environment was when I was at yeah. Fresno State as a coordinator. And uh, that was coming off of a 2016, mm -hmm. uh, you know, playoff run that they had yeah. here. And so uh, it was electric. Uh, we, we had a silent cadence, you know. <laughs> uh, it was loud. And, you know, there's just this whole focus on the dogs that Seattle has. Yeah. And it's a special community that way. Um, we do have an NFL team that does, a, you know, is awesome. A Major League Baseball team. And, you know, now hockey's mm -hmm. doing well as well. But, um, man, the dogs is what yeah. this place is all about. And so... Yeah. Um, the focus there. And then I thought the bones of the program just uh, with, yeah. you know, uh, ch national championships and many mm -hmm. conference championships, Rose Bowl appearances. This place has that from within. And so, you know, that there's pride from alumni yeah. uh, that, uh, you know, that really, you know, brought a lot to this program. And that's been so much fun getting to know them yeah. over the last year. Take me through the whirlwind of when you take the job. You mentioned it happened so fast. When you take the job, not only are you coming here and having to build your staff out, which you obviously took a lot of guys with you, but you're also having to recruit your own roster in the time mm -hmm. of the transport, transfer portal. You got to figure out who's on your, who's, who's committed to us. Who do we, who do we want? Who do we, who do we have to go after? There's so much going on. What was that first week like when you were on the job here? Yeah, I'd say the first couple of weeks and then, you know, it just, things change too. And you, you learn a lot about the people that you have around you and you just appreciate, appreciate them even more. And yeah. um, it was great having a foundation uh, with, you know, six coaches, strength coach, uh, got uh, Courtney Morgan's our director of player personnel, um, getting a lot of those pieces in place. Uh, there was some out, you know, a lot of positions still had to figure out, but, um, you know, just recruiting the roster part, you brought that up. Looking back on it, it's just, it was every, it was hour by hour sometimes, <laughs> you know, it's just, that's just how it was. Uh, Cause they, and, and you understand why they don't yeah. know who you are. Mm -hmm. um, and these are important decisions and this is a quarter school. And so mm -hmm. these guys got to figure out by January 3rd yeah. where they're going to school. So, you know, that Christmas break, uh, you know, there was a lot of phone calls, a lot of uh, even, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversations before, you know, mm -hmm. they left for Christmas break. But uh, we got through it and, uh, you know, for the most part retained you know, our roster. Yeah. And again, that's a tribute to these guys and uh, how they felt about each other and the belief that they had and uh, wanting to accomplish it. Accomplish it. And then I, I give them and our staff credit for, you know, meeting each other in the middle yeah. and uh, trusting what was said, um, you know, and then, you know, January was a great month. I walked in this room uh, and it was dead quiet for that first meeting on January 3rd, <laughs> I think it was. And, you know, by Friday, yeah. The, five days later, um, doing some workouts, and it was a whole different vibe. You yeah. know, just here we go. You know, it felt like we were already, you know, five mm -hmm. months in. Yeah. And so uh, it's a tribute, again, to everyone involved, coaches and players. When you got here, what was – 
the first thing that either surprised you or that you said, we have to change this or fix this right away as, as we get going here? Um, just that the guys never flinched. Yeah. I mean, we asked them to do something and they did it. And then some, um, yeah. that was really, there was not a really a lot of major things, uh, it, that we had to fix just, you know, um, different schemes, offense, defense, special teams. Um, and they knew that that was going to happen, but they never flinched. And we were asking them to do a lot when it came to the training mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, they've seen their bodies change and looking back on it. You know, I know they're really happy that they just went all in. Yeah. Um, but that's certainly a time, right, when you're you're doing different workouts and, you mm -hmm. know, kind of you could ask questions, but um, they never flinched. Yeah. You mentioned a little bit of we talked about why you took this job. The other part of it, too, is the commitment that you need from the administration mm -hmm. to build yeah. a program in today's college football with all the resources and the arms race and everything that goes into it. Tell me about those conversations with the administration of saying, are, are we committed to winning at the highest level? And does the commitment that the administration and, and everything that goes into it match the expectation that they have for, for you? Yeah, there's no question. Um, you know, our, our president, uh, President Kause, when I met with her, um, she expressed that, you yeah. know, and I could tell that what she uh, was saying uh, she meant and um, she was – uh, excited, anxious, whatever, to get, get football back going again. Um, you know, and that was really during my interview, but that's continued on throughout, mm -hmm. you know, my contact with her and her, my support, uh, that I get from, uh, President Kause is, is great. And then, um, you know, Jen, Jen, uh, Cohen, um, just, I mean, she is as aggressive as they get, you know, mm -hmm. and this is a place she's been passionate about and worked at, uh, you yeah. know, for a long time. Uh, and, you know, this is home for her, you mm -hmm. know, and so, I mean, when you really look at it and, um, man, she just keeps providing the resources and, you know, we'll go out there and, and help find what we need. Um, if there is anything that comes up and, um, it's very solution oriented yeah. and understands that, uh, you know, um, that as long as we have a plan and I can show her the why, why yeah, you know, yeah. um, she'll do everything she can to make it happen.